Stefan. Yes. COVID was certainly not part of your plan when you were presenting your strategy at last year's Investor Day, was it? Well, it wasn't plan the plan for anybody, but uh, clearly um, COVID hit us broadsides uh, and uh, it, it wasn't planned, but it showed us at least two very important things. We are very resilient and robust, uh, even in a very severe downturn. And the other thing is we're spot on with our strategy, focusing on the prevailing trends of electrification, digitalization, miniaturization. So uh, essentially, we come out of this with a, an even sharper focus on our strategic initiatives than before. What about Thomas? <clears throat> Can you confirm this experience? Well, uh, we experience the same thing, more or less. The pandemic, of course, has changed our business environment significantly. However, in contrast to other markets players, um, the impact on Exxon was comparably moderate. And this is thanks to a very strong foothold in the electronics industry that allowed us to cushion the slump in the other markets we are addressing. Exxon, on the other hand, also used the downturn to prepare for the, for the upcoming ramp. We see that growth is returning uh, in some areas like aviation, um, as for some examples, so, so sectors like uh, film replacement solutions or automation of processes, and not to forget upgrades of existing systems, they are increasing noticeably. A change in strategy was and is out of the question for us. We stick our to our vision, we stick to our mission, and we continue to focus on the goal to create value for our customers beyond inspection. Well, thank you. Thomas, what about plasma control technologies, Michael? Luckily, COVID played for us, so we didn't have to change any strategy. I mean, the demand for plasma equipment uh, increased dramatically. We had to speed up to, to, to prepare for, for, the, for the capacities everywhere, as Kevin mentioned. Huh? We, we will set up new capacities in, uh, in Malaysia. We expanded in in Flamat, that uh, was very important uh, because VAC caps were somehow our bottleneck a year ago, but now we could catch up with that and we are absolutely ready even for higher demand uh, in the future.